I'm Kayla, your host for History 8 here. I'm here at the oldest bar in Kansas at Hayes House in Council Grove. So join me today as we experience the history and enjoy the food and maybe a ghost or two here on History 8 Here. A little over one hour outside of Topeka, Kansas sits Council Grove. Council Grove received its name August 10th of 1825 when various commissioners met with the chiefs of the Great and Little Osage Indian tribes beneath a tree that they named Council Oak. There they signed the first treaty which established the right of way for what we came to know as the Santa Fe Trail. In the following years, Council Grove really became the rendezvous point for wagons that were headed west. The town itself has a little over 2,100 residents and boasts many historic sites as you'll see in the video here today. 25 or more actually have national recognition. Nearby sits the Council Grove City Lake and the Council Grove Federal Reservoir where fishermen, boaters, campers, hunters all come in throughout various seasons to have some fun, relax, take a vacation, and experience all that the area has to offer. The Kaw Mission State Historic Site in Council Grove and the Kaw Nation's Alagawaho Memorial Heritage Park sits along the Flint Hills Natural Trail. These sites tell the story of the Kaw Indian tribe whose reservation was located here from 1847 to 1873. What I enjoyed most about pulling into Council Grove on my way into Hayes House was all of the homes and businesses dotted along the line with the historic houses, historic businesses, parks and sites to see what had been there before. You can tell this community absolutely enjoys and takes care of its heritage all throughout the town and in the surrounding communities. This part you see as I'm coming over the bridge is the main downtown area. Beautiful buildings to the left and right and just where we're gonna go. Hayes House, 1857. Seth Millington Hayes was known as a shrewd, colorful, and successful trader, rancher, and tavern owner. He founded the historic city of Council Grove. The great-grandson of Daniel Boone and a cousin to Kit Carson, Seth was born in April of 1811 in Missouri. When he grew up, he was living in Westport, which is now part of Kansas City, Missouri. In April of 1847, two Santa Fe Trail traders, Albert Boone and James Hamilton, established a trading post on the Kaw Reservation. They placed their bachelor friend, Seth Hayes, in charge to build the store and trade with the Kansas tribe. Hayes became the first white settler of what would later become Council Grove in Morris County, Kansas. In about five years, Seth would buy out Boone and Hamilton and would begin to trade under his own name. In 1857, he built the building that you see now to accommodate the Santa Fe Trail traffic. The building you see now once served as a trading post, restaurant, hotel, courthouse, post office, printing office, as well as a meeting and social hall. Things would change in the coming years and by 1860, the Council Grove Town Company began selling lots throughout the area. And on January 29th of 1861, Kansas entered the Union as a free state. In 1886, a fire came through Council Grove on Main Street and destroyed several buildings on the north side. But thanks to several local citizens, Hayes House was saved. Prior to this time frame, there was a peaked roof and then after the fire, the sides were raised and the roof became flat and the second floor became 10 rooms to let. While no longer rooms to let for sleeping, the upstairs dining room is now an option. They have private events and extra dining space throughout the week. I love that the owners have left open a portion of that wall that you can see here where you can envision how they built these buildings way back in the day. That's original wood, my friends, sitting right there. 
Pieces like this remain throughout the entirety of the building, but what I love about the second floor is the feeling that you get when you come up there and this amazing bar that is currently branded in honor of the current partners that own Hayes House. And a little secret on the side, this was one of the areas that I had heard that there may be a couple of supernatural events that have happened in the past. You'll have to stop in and ask the current owners or some of the other staff that's there what they might have experienced. There are so many great trinkets or paintings, little things across the entirety of the building that you'll see that adds to the ambiance and the environment set by Hayes House. As you begin to walk back downstairs, you're gonna see a certificate and a picture of Charlie and Helen Judd. They moved to Council Grove in 1975 and they lived in the home built by Helen's grandparents in 1911. Charlie and Helen owned and operated the Hayes House restaurant for 14 years. And during that time, they completely renovated the building and it was designated a National Historic Landmark. Now to my favorite part of the building, the basement. I know that sounded creepy, but there's various Native American artifacts around here, as well as the feeling that you get when you come downstairs. I can tell you right now, as I sat at these tables, I felt like I was traveling back in time 200 years ago to when Seth entered into Council Grove and into the 1860s and 70s as people came down here to get a drink, play some cards, who knows, maybe murder each other, but then have a good time and enjoy what was going on in the scenery. I wanted to make sure I captured a couple of different shots from down here so you can see. They use it as meeting space now and often open it up too for meals and things of that nature. I found this little interesting piece inside the corner down there, which makes me think, hey, if you're enjoying this story and you like what I do and you like these restaurant views, click subscribe and like this video. Drop me a comment or two. The longer I sat at Hayes House, I found it to be a story of family and community. Frankie Greco happens to be a third generation cattle rancher. And Chef Dixon is an individual that creates love around the table, along with some of the most amazing flavors that you're gonna find here in the prairie. Now we've experienced the history, let's enjoy the food. Here's a couple of shots of this brand new menu that Hayes House has. This is June of 2022, so get out there and enjoy some new stuff they put on the menu. This guy kept me company as I started off with a couple of drinks. Here's an Olean's Red Roan Philly, made with whiskey, sweet vermouth, bitters, some crushed cherries, and lemon. I followed that up with a little bumbleberry pie, made with vodka and a splash of blackberry and raspberry. Let's get to the food. I started off with these fried mushrooms. Y'all, these are whole mushrooms. Fried to perfection, served with Hayes House 1857 Signature Ranch. Look at how big these things are. And I'm telling you, you can mess up a good mushroom by not understanding how to fry it and the moisture level inside of a mushroom. These things are huge and absolutely perfect. You don't come to Kansas and not get yourself a ribeye. This here is thick, juicy, named after the Council Grove Iconic Black Diamond Cattle Company. 12 ounces of perfection served with the biggest baked potato that you could possibly have. It's almost as big as the meat itself. And these portions are huge, made to order from the back. And if you don't put butter on your steak, you don't know what you're missing out on. Look at how big this baked potato is. Next up, Frankie sent me some chicken fried steak, one of the best sellers here. Kansas beef breaded and cooked the old fashioned way, smothered in some of the most amazing gravy that I have had. Now you guys, this thing when it came to the table was about half as big as the plate itself. These are no small portions, I'm telling you. We rounded out the tasting with an artichoke fettuccine Alfredo. Fettuccine pasta, mushrooms, spinach, and of course, artichokes. You can see those suckers in there. Do you see that? Again, showing my hand just to show you how big these plates are. 
Who doesn't like some dessert? Come on, Chef Randy this day had Butterfinger cheesecake waiting for everyone. This was amazing. Crust, delicious Butterfinger coming through, a little dab of caramel and chocolate on top. I saved the best for last. This blueberry cobbler changed my dessert life. I can't tell you how great it tasted when I took my bite. It was literally fresh spring fruit explosion happening, and I have never loved a dessert more. If you want a reason to come to Kansas, come for Randy's Cobbler. I always post a review when I'm leaving out, and I got a little surprise from Yelp. They chose one of my photos to put up there for Hayes House. On my way out from Hayes House, I made sure to drive around to give you guys some pictures of the community nearby. I think it's very important to tell you guys about what surrounds these awesome places that I'm going to that you can still experience more history. For all you history buffs out there, you've got just about everything you could ask for in Council Grove. You've got railroads coming through, Santa Fe Trail coming right through the Main Street area, as well as so many historical homes and sites that you can stop by in walking distance for some of them from Hayes House and read about these amazing stories. You'll notice that quite a few portions of the video here contain signs from the spots that I was filming at. I highly recommend that you go ahead and pause the video where you want to, to be able to read the story of wherever I am. I tried to get shots in order, so if there was multiple signs, I tried to get them in order of the narrative story, and then also get a good shot with the full piece inside of the view. I really want to point out the care with which the community takes with these historical spots. It takes more than just a couple of people to keep the signs fresh, to keep the locations clean, and to ensure that they're there for you, our children, and those that come after us to hear the story of how these places came into being. They have so many wonderful artifacts and pieces that they are taking care of for you to come see and just marvel at the engineering feats as the United States began to expand into the West. Well, my friends, our time is done here today. Thank you so much to Hayes House and your hospitality, your amazing food. I'm pretty sure I gained just about five to 10 pounds and I was able to eat off of those meals, no kidding y'all, for a week after I got home. You need to get in and see them as soon as you can. This drive is beautiful as you come through. So don't waste another minute. Plan your trip into Kansas today. Get off the beaten path and out of the cities. Come check out the history. One last time as we wrap up, we are here on YouTube and of course, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. If you want alerts about what's coming next, drop me a message in the chat. Tell me where to go. And of course, thank you for watching. Nom 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 nom